Hello, and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today, we are taking this acrylic painting. I just painted it, just hit it with the blow dryer. And then I am going to jump into um, experimenting with glazing on top of it. Now, I'm really not versed in acrylics, so I've been just playing around and exploring. So you'll have to bear with me on that. But what I'm gonna do is take some of this flow medium that I had picked up from Hobby Lobby, mix with acrylic paint for thin consistency and glossy finish. To prevent cracking, apply thin layers to wet surface until desired effect is achieved. Water-based. Clean with cool soapy water. Uh, soapy water. So this um, this brush, I put it on a little container to kind of pull it out. And I'm gonna wet some yellow ochre that I put on the palette. That's what I'm gonna kind of glaze with, and we'll see how this works. What this medium is, I have no idea. One idea I had was to take the gloss gel. I don't know if I had the idea or read it online. I might be making that up. I apologize. Um, to take the gloss gel, mix some um, medium and uh, pigment into that and apply that on top. really yellow ochre and everything. So with oil paints, uh, the way I personally do it is I'll take a um, Galkid medium, and I'll mix that with my pigment, and I'll pass that over the spots that I want to glaze. I know people use liquid with oils, and people will also use um, like linseed oil, right? Because the fat over lean, so you're adding the fat to it. But with acrylics. I'm not that sure, especially if I'm just using this uh, flow medium. I I don't know if there's any like polymers or anything in it or what. But I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna hit it with the blow dryer, and I think I'm gonna glaze with the different colors. Actually, I could probably do two colors at once. So let me pause while I look for another color. Oh, all right. So I just put out some red. Cad red, uh, just the U. Um, Cad yellow light and Cad yellow deep. We'll just play around and see how that looks on top. The cadmium might be a little too opaque. It also might lift up the surface that I have uh, just previously put on. So we'll see how that looks. Excuse me. Here's the cad yellow. I should apply it in a thick fashion like that. Uh, 
I always feel, and I'm not sure if it's just my painting style, is that I always kind of go in, then lift back. Just kind of go back and forth. And this is just dipping in to that medium and then grabbing some um, pigment with that, which makes me wonder what is it doing to it and what is the um, name brand's equivalent of that. I'll put in some darks. bit of ochre. back and forth. Let's rinse this. Use the rough texture of this brush. Yeah, uh, kind of, I guess it'd be kind of scumbling when you put a more opaque application onto these. Foreground pieces. Cat yellow light, so I went orange and the red might be a little too much. I like how there's a few pieces that kind of just caught. We have this little land bridge right here that I mentioned. I wonder. All right, let's pause and see where we're at. Okay, so overall, I'm liking the process and the effect. Um, I did enjoy using this surface, and there's a few more things I want to do on top of it. Let's um, see if I can grab the Payne's Gray again. You can see in here that raised area where I put those lines of that Payne's Gray. And let's see if I can grab some more for a textured effect. Let's 
just kind of go back and forth with that. And a lot of the goals of these, oh, that is way too much, but a lot of the goals of these is much like a lot of the other painters where I'm trying to use little tricks and techniques in order to prevent having to sit for hours upon hours and painting each individual piece of grass, each piece of leaf, each, um, just everything. So it's just all these little, um, approaches and ideas. I think that I'll wrap this one up here. I hope you enjoyed. Um, please like, subscribe, follow if you enjoyed. And um, of course, I have the Patreon down below with exclusive content. And thank you to everybody that supports this channel through Patreon. And if you would like to see more, I have some down there. You'll take care and have a great day.